Hello everyone, I'm Claire Lazar Reich, and today I'll introduce a project joint with Suhas Vijay Kumar. The purpose of our project was to show that it's possible to reconcile two conditions for algorithmic fairness that were previously thought impossible to simultaneously achieve. So let me give you the backstory. In 2016, as many are now aware, ProPublica issued a report arguing that a major algorithm in the criminal justice system is biased. They found that the Compass algorithm misclassified defendants in an unbalanced way. Black defendants were more likely to be mistakenly classified as high risk, and white defendants were more likely to be mistakenly classified as low risk. Their finding invoked a lot of debate. It was a clear and high impact example of a case where one subgroup in a population bears a greater burden of algorithmic errors than another. At the same time, it later became clear that Compass did satisfy a different notion of algorithmic fairness, calibration. That is, Compass scores reflected the same average risk regardless of race. Thus, two natural notions of algorithmic fairness surfaced, equal error rates and calibration. These can be considered relative to race, but also to any other protected characteristic, socioeconomic status, age, education level, and so on. Researchers demonstrated mathematical tensions between the conditions. It was speculated that Compass failed to satisfy equal error rates not in spite of the fact that it upheld calibration, but actually because it upheld calibration. These important results even made their way into the press. For example, ProPublica followed up with an article writing that researchers say that the bias in Compass is mathematically inevitable. So when coming up with this project, we recognize that existing research unearthed true tensions between the fairness criteria. But at the same time, we also felt that there was additional room where they can work in harmony. We conjecture that it was in fact possible to achieve both simultaneously in certain settings. So here's the setting I have in mind. One where many valued calibrated scores are given to a decision maker who ultimately uses them to make a binary treatment decision. For example, a lender assessing default risk and deciding whether to accept a loan application, or a child welfare agent screening allegations of abuse and deciding which to further investigate. We wanted to show that it was possible to deliver to these human agents scores that are calibrated and that yield equal error rate binary outcomes at the decision makers' thresholds. So in this project, we proved that this is possible, even when group means differ. We characterized exactly when it's possible and traced out all the possible outcomes. And finally, we propose an algorithm that actually produces the most informative score, minimizing the decision maker's loss while satisfying the fairness criteria. Then we applied that procedure to two settings. First, we show that it can reconcile the two fairness criteria in the Compass criminal justice algorithm. Then we turn to credit lending, where we showed it can outperform the common practice of omitting sensitive features from data sets. In particular, in comparison to the omission of sensitive features, uh, the procedure we propose raises lender profits while simultaneously improving the probabilities that creditworthy individuals in all groups we consider access loans. Thank you so much for listening.